Okay, so yeah, it's a great honour and a privilege to have Joel Parkinson on my first OC, OC podcast. <laughs> um, podcast, yeah, it's uh, it's new and it's uh, thank you for coming and joining me, Joel. No worries, thank you, OC. It's, yeah. I guess, an honour too to <laughs> finally find out exactly what podcasts are all about. Yeah, I know it's all new for me too. So yeah, we've, I've listened to a few of them and um, uh, yeah, it's new, but um. How was your morning so far? My morning was pretty cool. I um, got up pretty early, I couldn't sleep. It was like maybe quarter to five and I was like, what am I gonna do? And I did like an email or two and I went, you know what, I should go for a fish. So I jumped in my boat and went for an early fish. I kind of was out in the dark and about 5.30, I was out around the Tweed Bar, around D Bar and all that and got a heap of little tailor and yeah, fish for an hour or so and then just come in and you know, it was just the house was just starting to wake up, the family was just waking up, so it was a cool morning. Did you eat them for breakfast? I didn't. I didn't, didn't bother keeping them. Oh, a lot, didn't a lot of them were just undersized, so yeah. I didn't bother. Yeah, well, cool. Well, um, what about your morning? Uh, well, it was more about last night for me. Yeah, I went and watched uh, my beloved team, the Sharks, play oh. your team, the Gold Coast Titans. Not my team. Well, it used to be your team. Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> but uh, that was pretty cool to watch that game, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I watched that too. It was really good. Yeah, so we went up there and watched it live, and um, <clears throat> Cronulla was going for their 16th straight win, um, and they drew. Yeah, so yeah. it was an 18, uh, 18 draw. 18 all draw. I saw. All I draw. saw. I watched. I watched it. It was interesting in the last like few minutes when. Referees were pretty lenient. There was a lot of offside. They were, and there was those. a lot of offside, and they couldn't kick. They couldn't kick it. No, no one everyone could was kick doing it through the post. Yeah, I was like, oh, if that happens in the grand final, they're not going to win. I mean, you know, we'll get off rugby league, but Cronulla, we're hoping that they can make the grand final against maybe the Cowboys of the Storm. I'm not looking at the Titans at the moment, but I mean, do you think they got a chance to make the? I mean, well, well, they're probably going to make the top eight, but the finals. Yeah, um, probably the top eight, but not the four. I, not. I can't see too many teams beating Melbourne, Cowboys, yeah. or even the Sharks if they start to play like they were at the start of the year. Yeah. They were untouchable, I thought, of the they first. Mm. Their first, you know, and their, when they went on 17 wins in a row, their first five were wins were, I thought, were amazing. So yeah, We'll see how sure. they go. Okay, well, let's get off footy. I mean, what are you up to at the moment? I know you were almost going to miss this, um, my first opcast to for Fiji, and you, you didn't go. Yeah, I was. I was going to go to Fiji this morning mm -hmm. um, for just a bit of a swell that we was going up there uh, for tomorrow. I was trying to pick up the Savo and then, and then go up there for tomorrow and the next day, but uh, it looks, it kind of started to fade away. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of got closer. Yeah. Some of those swells do a bit up there, and... It just didn't hold, so I, I didn't go, yeah, and I pulled out yesterday, the and then I boarded the mission, and I just spoke to Scotty up there. He got a text me and said that it actually kicked a bit of swell this afternoon, or it just has there. It's lunchtime, so um, I don't know. Hopefully, it's not pumping tomorrow, and I made the wrong call. But <laughs> looks like we got a good little east coast low about to pop up here. Oh, there is. Okay. So we'll, we'll see. We should have waves from you know kind of Wednesday, Thursday, and, and I've still got next week, you know, I'm yep. free next week. I don't go to Tahiti until around the 16th. So yep. hopefully I'll sneak up there and I just haven't had a good cloud break day for a long time, I feel. It's one of my, it's my favourite way. I, I know that. I want to go up there. Yeah. And it's like, is it intentionally like practising for Tahiti? Yeah. Yeah. Just I want to just see how my knee it. goes. I haven't actually, so I've barely gone left. You haven't pig dogged? I haven't pig dogged at all. I haven't, you know, once I was surfing again, I was to J-Bay and, you know, you don't go left to J-Bay at all, so... I actually haven't gone and left. And mm. I can't remember the last time I was in a backside barrel. Wow. Well, last time I was in a backside barrel, probably Hawaii. Well, but, uh, it comes oh, out natural, though. I think, yeah, we had to. You some, just need like a couple. I just like, need a couple yeah. to yeah. get that feeling a bit. Yeah. And I just don't want to dive into Chopu without <laughs> sitting in a backhand barrel. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you must be looking forward to that, Tahiti. Yeah, staying for um, sure. at Auntie Julia's house. Oh, no, and... I can't wait. I really. Yeah, we've had the best times over there over the years. Yeah. That place is our little house there. It's our house, It's yeah. going to be an interesting change this year because we've got no Pat Stacey. Oh, why no Pat? Uh, Pat's are no longer working for Billabong. Oh, so not. No, he's okay. freelance now, so 
Um, we've got no Pat, and we've got we've got Jack and Ryan. It's their first years on tour, so so they're going to be well, there. I think we got Lowy coming too, right? Nick well, Lowe. Yeah, he might come. Yeah, yeah I hope manager, Lowe, the, Yeah, hopefully Lowy uh, comes over. Lowe, and, yeah, um, with Ryan, I'm actually. I think I'm coming for a couple of days. Oh, hey. Oh, perfect. <laughs> just oh. a couple of days here, yeah, just to do some more off um, casts. Um, the Oc podcast, just going over for a couple of days to oh, interview cool. a few people. So I might be on your couch. For yeah, a no while. worries, absolutely. Um, yeah, so like, just another question. I mean, like, I know you've grown up in um, Coolangatta, originally from the Sunshine Coast. Just to let everyone know out there where you were originally from, exactly on the Sunshine Coast. I was uh, Caloundra. Caloundra, yeah. Yeah. And, and what uh, age did you leave Caloundra well, to the I Gold Coast? Came down here when I was uh, started high school, pretty much. So I was okay, like, uh, just turned fourteen or so. Fourteen. So you came mm. to PBC. Yep, to PBC, and which is Palm Beach, Corumbin, which yeah, is the yeah. kind of the best school you can um, go to on the Gold Coast. You were uh, for surf- sports, yeah, for I sports, think, yeah. yeah, for a sports. Uh, they have the best sports surfing program, footballs, all that kind of stuff. So I was lucky enough to. That was our only option too, that school. I mean, there was Tweed River, but we were Queensland. So we, yep. we were over this side of the border. So yeah, it was PBC was. And you really went good. to, was Mick turning in that school also? Yeah, Mick, yeah. And, Mick and myself and Dingo were all yep. in the Dean same Morrison grade at school yep. there. Yep. I thought it must have been fun. It was fun. We had a <laughs> lot of fun people there in that school. And um, some of my favorite memories, you know, getting that bus, because we all lived at Kira. Yeah. And getting the bus from Kira and you know morning surfs and then everyone on the bus together and arvo surfs and mm. trying to quick get that bus home as quick as you could when you knew the waves were good yes coming but, around kira point you'd see yeah, it and you're like, and you're like, get me off the bus yeah <laughs> oh cool and um is it like i mean surf wise and banks wise since then has it changed much like cool and gaddy you think i mean i know yeah, I mean, I mean, I know there's been a lot of influx with different nationalities and stuff, and but has it changed that much? Oh, I think it has. I think the biggest change that's happened for surfing, I reckon, here is that sand popping jetty. Yeah, I know that you know, there's a lot of people that say before that sand bypass system was put in, the ways were better. Um, you'd know that too. Yeah were yeah, it's hard to say you know there were certain days for sure they were better but we've had some pretty amazing ways with it in there too so we have uh we definitely don't have cura so cura what it was is a real bummer that we don't have that anymore yeah um you know we, we there's so many uh i guess that's a topic that could go on forever there's so many pros and cons about there that. There is, yeah. And that red dredge we had for a long time really yeah, the that, that, probably, that thing probably stuffed up more than the sand All part, that bypass. I think that was probably point to blame why we lost Kira and, and still Kira's and Tweed Bar. Tweed Bar, it's still buried the Tweed Bar. I don't we you know, we buried Kira. Yeah, we did. And just to explain to the listeners out there what we're talking about is um on the Gold Coast Snapper Rocks and Tweed Bar. Uh, we had a beautiful, beautiful big wave outside um, of Durambar where, um, which is probably Joel and I's favourite wave and uh, Tweed Bar was a beautiful big left and uh, the big ship came and dredged it and then they built the sand pumping jetty on that side of, um, of uh, Durambar which is called TOS on the other side and, and now they pump all the sand into Snapper. We used to have Kira and Kira was probably the best wave in the world, or one of them. And um, and they've got uh, influx with sand. Like they just pumped too much sand, and we'd lost that wave. It still breaks. It's kind of a... it's starting to come back. I think. Yeah, That's it's what starting I think. to it's come back. It's like a... because now we can see the little groin. We've got a few can... different other things, and we can we can start to see a bit. You know, on the right swell, there's been yeah. times where it kind of looks like a bit of old Kira. Oh, but... a bit. But yeah, it doesn't like a have a glorified kind of close out kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's... you can get seriously shacked out there. Yeah. But not like it was a point break before. It, yeah, it doesn't seem like a point break now. It no. seems like a sand spit to me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so yeah, so um, like just to come back to your um your competitive career, which has been so good. You won a world title, <laughs> um, which was fantastic. I was there, and it was just sensational. Hey, it was 
just a long time coming. Yeah, I suppose. Did you Same ever with, think it was going to happen? Oh, just like yours, I suppose. Yeah, it was pretty much. I was, when I was saying that, <laughs> I was about as long as yours, too. Uh, yeah, like, it took a while, but, um, but how yours, did it feel when it finally oh, came? Amazing. I mean, I mean, you're probably one of the only guys, I guess, that probably knows that feeling because you had that um, long break. That long break and yeah. tried for a while and then went off and then tried and I guess, yeah, it's a bit of sweet, isn't it? It's so sweet to when you get it and um, it was so amazing. close. Like, it was so that, close so many times. It used and to then a couple of like, ankle injuries and you were right there and it didn't happen. Yeah. Did you ever think it wasn't going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> you did? Yeah. For sure. If it hadn't happened that year too, I don't know what would have happened. <laughs> you were like, I'm over it. Yeah, I would have been in trouble. Yeah. So how many years do you think you're going to um, keep competing for? I'm not sure. I haven't really, yeah. it goes in and out of my mind a fair bit. It does. Two, one, might be two, one or two years, my one or two events. I'm enjoying it. You I don't are. really want to throw it yeah. in. No I just, you know, I just, um, it takes a lot of commitment, I guess, to win, win a title and to be on, you know, to do what I had to do. And mm. I've done that. I really just want to get back to just enjoying the surfing and yeah. enjoying competing. And yeah. If I just do that, I don't know, you know, as long as... I'm, and is that happening at the moment? Yeah, it really is. It is? Like, I love it. So okay. um, it keeps me, like, I'm afraid that if I don't compete, it'll keep me, it won't keep me as hungry and willing to surf and to, to chase waves and, you know, maybe it'll just take the foot off the gas a bit. Mm. And I don't want to do that yet. I want to still get barreled and yeah. do still, you know, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to chase the QS or go and chase oh, the You won't that. see me going to surfing Huntington or doing <laughs> yeah. stuff like that. Well, but you'll we... see me excited to go to Fiji, j Bay, Tahiti, yeah. Snapper, all these waves. I just went, you know, that, that, if I could maybe pick and choose events, I would, it'd be hard. It's going to be hard to leave the tour because the ones I'll miss will be that are so you know, sentimental miss... to me, like yeah. Fiji. J Bay, Snapper, Bells, I love mm. um, oh, Tahiti, you know. There's a couple on there that I could probably, I wouldn't care for as much, but I still enjoy. Yeah. You know, Pipe would be hard to miss. For sure. I, I couldn't, you know. Does the WSL let you do that? No, I don't think so. You're, You're just gotta... like, I'll just do these four events, or my <laughs> five pet events, yeah. till I'm 50 years old. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very do much. I, just... like, I don't think so. Yeah, no, you've <laughs> got to put in a bit more than that, you know. And I think, yeah, that's kind of selfish in a way for, you know, because other guys will get on and then they've got to get off, so. Mm. Well, the transition's hard. I mean, obviously I've done it and, um, you know, having two beautiful boys and, uh, Probably won't be as hard for you. I mean, you've got you know Evie, Macy, and and um, Marley, and um, you know I'm sure you know you were the apart from yourself traveling. You don't do it so much these days because the kids are at school, obviously, and they're older. But when you first um, had the babies, um, you're pretty much one of the first, or maybe Danny Wills before you traveling with family on tour. Does it make it? better and easier yeah and now it's weird because like this year we've got this break between i'm going to do trestles and by myself and um and then we're back for a, we've got a two two and a bit week break between that and france so i'm coming home and then i'm home for a week and family and i we're all going to europe oh, cool. for the whole europe leg and cool. they're talking like we're going to go to paris we're going to do this we're going to drive down we'll stop in bordeaux and we we'll go to wineries we're doing all this cool stuff for four or five days before that and then the kids were like, yeah, and next year we won't go to Europe. We'll do America, we'll do Disneyland and all this. And then <laughs> I'm like, well, how, how long am I, you think I'm going to be on this tour? Like, yeah, you'd be, right. they'd be planning these holidays for like, you know, the following year, you know, they'll be like, oh, what about the Greek islands and all these places? Like, we're going over there. We may as well go to these places. And I'm like, wow, man, I'll be 50 and still <laughs> travelling around. But uh, they're the cool things. Like, they're old enough now to, my kids, to enjoy that part of it. And, and so... I guess now it's quite um, quite easy and a stable. You know, it was pretty hard at the start to find, I guess, how it was all going to work, and yeah. you know, I was unsure. But um, I guess now we have a pretty good little easy system, and it, you know, everyone, the family knows how we, we all work, and it goes well. You must miss them when you're not 
Yeah, Take definitely. Him. I mean, you know, it's like missing your yeah, family. It's, it's, yeah. it's hard to, there's those times where it's annoying. You know, like Europe last year was, you know, I lost out early in France and I had like two weeks of waiting for Portugal and it was just, a, that was draining. You know, I was like, oh, what am I here for, purpose and stuff mm. like that. And You'd that, almost yeah. like jump on the plane and, and come, come home. home. Yeah, there was talk long. of it and I was thinking, oh, what's the point of doing that, you know? Take it, ruin you, going back to oh, the jet doing, yeah. yeah. Two trips to Europe in two weeks have been mm. pretty full on. Yeah. Okay, so sweet. Um, and and one of the pretty exciting things that you're doing with yourself and Mick Fanning and um B Durbridge is your beer, the Bolter beer. Yeah. How, how's that all going? It's going well. Really fun. You know, that's kind of, I guess, when I do finish up surfing, um, be definitely diving in and and I guess getting my hands dirty there a bit more in the company and then with beer and. Um, it's so much fun, you know. Craft beer is such a good industry. It's yeah. everyone, and and everyone at the uh, at Balto is just so I guess um, excited about you know us and the new brand and how it's all going and and creating a great atmosphere there and, and making good beer and everyone's really um, I don't know it's really passionate about it. Yeah, about Balto and we all are like we, you know it's it's our kind of our little pride and joy of our baby. And, we just, you know, it's, it's it's really fun to, you know, we all enjoy, we're Aussies, we all enjoy a cold beer and at we the do. end of the day. And we, uh, it's been really cool. Like um, tonight, I guess we got that range release for Billabong okay. and, yep. and we're going to this little burger joint called Bergster in Palm Beach and, and they've got our beer on tap and just going in there and watching people that I know enjoy out having of the a, yeah, having oh, a cold right. bolter and I'm mm. like, oh, that is, That's my know, beer. it puts a smile on my face yeah, yeah, to see. Sure. People and they get all pumped and you're like, I, oh, it's, you know, it's often I walk around and you're, if you're somewhere and they're like, I'm having a beer, I'm having a bolter and you're like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's really good to, just to see people enjoy something that I guess we've, we dreamed about doing two Rains. years ago yeah. and now it's, it's, it's come to, it's happening. I know, well, um, I was just at Rainbow Bay Surf Club yesterday and I noticed that it was on tap there and uh, my girlfriend just had one and she loves it. Yeah, yeah She cool. has a little midi when we go for lunch. And, yeah, nice. Yeah. And it's cool. I, I don't mind it either. Yeah, yeah. you've got you're gonna like some of the beers in the future that we're gonna come up with, and you got a few sometime more next year we'll have pilsners and yeah, okay. a couple of dark beers mm -hmm. and just different beers. You know, at this stage we're we're still we're only a few months old, so yeah. we're still really, yeah. I guess, new to the, the the brewing side of it. And our brewery, um, you know, we don't have a lot of room to to do a lot of different things yet. But mm -hmm. as time goes on and we get a little bit more bigger and expand a bit and hopefully we can get a little bit more, yeah. uh, a few more beers going on and, yeah, you know, cool. enjoy it along the way. We'll find one that you really like. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, yeah. I'm pretty your fussy taste when buds it comes are, to beer. Your taste buds haven't changed nah. for a long time, have they? <laughs> no. But you took me through a tour and it's a beautiful place up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. We're and, really proud um, of what we've built yeah, there. Yeah, it's, it's all time. So, yeah, so, um, I don't know. I reckon that is my first off cast, and I'm so proud to have Joel Parkinson with me. And um, that's it. Joel, Thanks. thank you for Cheers coming. Cheers, Thanks. Yeah. It was awesome. Cheers.